Muslims, we all we, we return to the Hadiths constantly, right? Um, being that Bilal was the Muslim of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he was a black man, he was he was with the Prophet at least five times a day because he called the Adan for the Prophet, peace be upon him. Why do we never quote the Hadiths of Bilal? I have written myself on Bilal, Islam and racism, and Bilal came out in the narrative. Before the late Imam Wardin Muhammad passed away, one of the Egyptian scholars who was the head of the Islamic Center in Washington, D.C., at the instigation and discussion with the Imam and other people, he published a book on Bilal, which is available. Now, let me tell you something else. He is raising a question of marginalization of Bilal in the narrative. There is a reason for that. The Umayyad who came to power, remember their family were dead opposed to Islam. And they were the ones who took over the Islamic revolution. You know the story, it's not invented. That's one of the reasons why when you look at the narrative, you have more about Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira was late come out. They call him the talkative, Abu Huraira the talkative. But he gave many hadiths, by the way. So you see, this is why they are challenging you now. That's the challenge for African Americans. We now, I have been saying it to some of the Muslims. We have now, there are many African Americans who are Hafiz al-Quran. They know the Quran by heart. And you have many of the young African Americans now who are translating classical texts. That's why many of us were very angry, because what happened in Mali? When you have these Tuaregs who are trying to get hold of thousands of manuscripts, there are Tafsir al-Quran written by African people that were put in cold storage from the white people. It is only after they left, they came back. You have some African Americans who are involved right now. You have people like some of our sisters and brothers out there in Mississippi. They have an Islamic museum. You see, and they have been going around showing the manuscripts. These were written by African people. 700 years or 800 years ago. Tafsir al-Quran, Sira, and many mathematical books written. That's what the first speaker was telling you, that you go back to Kemetic knowledge. And that narrative, that's what has to go on. Thank you.